I want to welcome you all in the house of the living God. Welcome, Pastor Philip. Stay, stay. 
poor so you and I can become rich. Call that person. Call that name. Call that. I'm not here with you. So Jesus 
Jesus came for you and for me. God so loved the world. He has given his only. His only. I said his only. I said he has given his only. For who? For me. I know, I know I said me. A wretch like me. A wicked man like me. Yes, you're looking at him, one of the most wicked man that ever exists. But thank me to God. Thank you. 
Romans 10. If you confess with your mouth, believe in your hearts that God has raised Jesus from the dead, you are saved. It's by grace to faith, not by works, that any man should boast. Lift your hands and thank God I'm no longer a sinner. Come on, thank you, no longer a sinner. You are not a sinner saved by grace. You were. I'm a brand new man. Hallelujah. Are you ready for this one? Number two. Why did Jesus came? Why? Why?
Sickness is a work of the devil. Torment is a work of the devil. Sleepless night is the works of the devil. Fear is a work of the devil. Poverty. Lack. Every type of disease. Thank you. 
see that the cell and Lord again one more week one. One more week for what? And suddenly we became weak because the doctor said by his stripes. I said by his stripes. I said by his stripes. That word didn't say by his stripes you will be. He said we are. Please look, it's Isaiah said it. And he spoke it in the present tense. Not the past tense, not the future tense, but I am. Somebody shout, I am. Free. Tell us we can. To destroy. Works of the 
enemy. Let's be destroyed. Don't look around. That's not. That's not. I said the works of the enemy has been destroyed. What did I say? I did not say it will be destroyed. It is a done work. It is a what? Come. It is a what? It is going to happen now?
He didn't try for her. He didn't try. You want us to try now? Let's go.
Jesus. Don't answer these people.
God told me to correct. I told you God told me to correct some things, right? One of them was there's no power in the name of Jesus. There's no power in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus is power. The second thing. Lord said, never ever you call nobody to come and give their life to him. He said, my son, they have no life. That's my next topic next week. No sinner has life. <coughs> Believe it, let the word speak for itself next week. So, don't come here to give your life because you have no life. Pass I read it. Come God. Come God. Pass up. I live in. Come God. Amen. You can be living and still have a life. Amen. Amen. <laughs> There's a lot of living people that have no life. That's what the Americans will tell you. Don't get a life. He said, correct that. Let the people come to receive life. A lot of us need to restart because we came and we gave our life. We gave what we didn't have. So Jesus said to me to tell you, anyone here want to receive life? Now is the time. Come. Come. You have waste a lot of time. My brother, we have waste a lot of time. We have waste a lot of time. But we understand now. He came to save me from me. Because I am my most dangerous enemy. Me. Now, this morning, I'm closing. You need Jesus in your life. You need Jesus. If you're here this morning, say, Pastor, I want to come and receive the life. I want salvation. I want to be saved. Come to God. Come to God. Don't let today pass you. I promise God something. I said, Lord, I'm going to be so busy about your business that I don't even have time to think.
Listen to me. There's no millionaire on this earth can be richer than me. Because what I have up there, no teeth, no fire, nothing can destroy. What I have up here is just a matter of time. It's coming back. Are you ready for this return? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I was coming this morning in the bus. Right, and somebody said to me, Pastor, I get I get up so tired. I've been looking for an excuse. I said to her, I said, please don't tell me an excuse. Anytime you wake up, you don't feel like on the job, don't look for an excuse with your pastor. I don't want to hear. You don't need to stand before me. Tell him the excuse. And if he said it's okay, but well, then it is okay. Are you hearing me? Because you and I have to stand before him. Amen. And then you can tell him all the excuses. It won't matter. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Don't forsake the assembly of yourself together as some do. He didn't say when you feel tired, you can still hold. He said, don't. For sake has some doom. Deuteronomy 12, 5. Look for the place where you're tired and you have time. Go to that place. For well, someone I'm not feeling well, that's the place to go. One day, whether you believe it or you believe it not, it doesn't matter. You have to stand before him.
said it, the word said it. I did not have a life. When I came to Jesus, he gave me life. Wow. God bless you, son. Anybody else? Two. The passing you know, only as a member of this church. No, no, no. Be a member of heaven. Be a member of there. Be a member of there. Not a member here. A member here to still go to heaven. But a member of there. Jesus said, don't be excited because demons running when you speak. No. Be excited because your name is running. Don't come because your mama watches, your sister watches. No, no. Come because you make up your mind. Doesn't matter what comes my way. Pray with them. How about you, Kiyadra? 
You ready for Jesus? You're not ready? So then you should just stand there. What would you make of You love Jesus? Jesus loves you. Are you ready to surrender, give him, and receive his life? And then you can move on to Christian. You can move on to Christian. You don't need music. All you need is your voice. Tell God, this day I need this, this. Oh, you You be serious. You pray, 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 Glory to glory to glory. Speak to the Lord. Papa, I thank you for your presence in this place, on this altar. I thank you for your presence on this altar. Minister, Lord, minister, Holy Ghost. Minister to the, to the people that are standing. You know their heart. You know their mind. You know everything about them. Serve the Lord of gladness. Help! Some of you need to cry from your heart. Help! I need your help. Can't do it at all. Let me listen to you. Thank you, Father. 
Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Fear not. I hear God said to tell you, fear not. I am with you. I was with you. I am still with you. I will always be with you. I have not forsaken you. God said, I have not forsaken you, Cash. God has not forsaken you. Man has forsaken you. Maybe you your pastor, but God has not forsaken you. He loves you. You know, never lost to the Lord. He loves you so much. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. You're free. You're free. You're free from the power of darkness. Thank you, Lord Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. I restore you. I restore the joy of the salvation of the Lord in your life. All the joy that you have lost is coming back to you. Serve the Lord with gladness. He will begin that good work. And you know the good work God has started and you have done in your life. He wants to finish it, but would you allow him? Would you allow him?
if you have been prayed for. If you haven't been prayed for, you can just remain where you are. Welcome at the Lord. We give Him praise. We give Him praise. Those that are sitting, lift your hands and just thank Jesus. Vous qui sont assis, levez votre main, remercie le Seigneur. Merci Jésus, tu es grand, tu es grand, tu es grand. That fear is still there, it's gone. It's gone. You keep it gone. Remember, God has given you power. No fear. No fear. No fear at all. No fear at all. Of fear. And in the place of fear, he has given us faith. Hallelujah! I said, in the place of fear, he has given us faith. No more fear. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We all said, serve God, my daughter. The enemy has a plan for you. I pray God will be an eyes to see it. It's very dangerous. You're useless without Jesus. Come here. You are useless without Jesus. That's what you told her. You are useless without Jesus. Serve God. Serve God. You have been abandoned by a lot of people. By a lot of people. But God has not abandoned you. You are valuable in his hands. You have a great value. And his thoughts towards you is good. All the doors that have been closed is the enemy. The enemy has done it. And if you serve God, he has to lose it. If God be for you. You know what I've learned lately?
We give him praise. Lift your hands. Father, we thank you. What a love. What a love. What a love. If you have not been feeling well, come now. You are not well. Whatever your pain you have, come. Quick. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Have my ready. Thank you, Lord. 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 By His stripes, you're healed. You're not going to be healed. You're already healed. You're just coming to pick it up. It's a done work. Where is the person who had a, a problem here this week? For a little while. Come. Right here, you got a problem here in your legs, in your knees. Come, where are you? Come. Stop. Go on the way. Where are the problem was? You need your legs here? What happened to it? You fall up? This week you fall? Or what happened? What happened? On your right side. Uh -huh. No, it's not going to heal it. He healed it already. Pick it up. Father, in the name of Jesus. I rebuke the pain, I rebuke the pain, I rebuke the pain in that right place. In the name of Jesus, come, I want you to lift your knees up now. Lift it up, lift it up, lift it up, lift it up, lift it up. It's hurting you. When you used to do it, what used to happen? You used to pain when you do that? No, is it pain? Lift it up. Huh? You don't have no pain. You had pain before? When you came to church, you had pain? But lift it up now. You have pain now. Then give God praise. Hallelujah. Come on to God be the glory. To God be the glory. No matter the glory. I don't know your problem. I ask you what is your problem. Your back problem. I didn't know you had a problem. I thought Jesus took it to the cross thing. So why are you holding on to it? Give me Matthew chapter. Can I have Matthew? Matthew. Pay attention please. Matthew. Chapter 8, verse 14 and 17. Listen to me, if you are part of this ministry, never you come and tell you have a problem. You don't have any problem. You can feel a problem. A problem is a problem, you receive it. In school, the teachers, problem, solution. Jesus is the solution. What it says there? It said, when, and when Jesus was come into Peter, Mark chapter 4, 14. Okay, that right there, right there, right there. And when Jesus had, was coming to Peter's house, he, he saw his wife fall away and sick of fever. And he touched her hand and the fever left her. She arose and ministered unto them. Give you verse 17. Look at this. Look at this. Now, I ask you a question. You have to determine if you believe the word or you don't believe it. Look what it says. That it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, He himself, not pastor, no apostle, but Jesus himself took our infirmities and bear our sickness. What did the Bible say? He himself. Is that truth? Is that truth? Do you believe it? Now, my brother, he himself has taken your back pain. So you don't have it. So don't tell me you know your problem. I don't know your problem. I, what is your problem that you don't believe? So why you tell me you have a problem? Father, in the name of Jesus, you yourself took this back pain. So it is gone in the name of Jesus. Now, what you could have done? Do something you could not do. You could not have been part of the church and been heavy. 
I said, when you are a giver, you can go to every banks and make withdrawals. Because I'm a giver. I have saved something. The Bible says, save up treasures where? Leave it alone. Y'all want to go home. Where do I save my treasures? Where? Brother and sister, when you're saving some place, when you want it, I need to go for it. No, you're saving all your money. My sister's S. And you're going to my sister B for money. You got to go away to pay your money. But because I'm saving all up there, when I need it, I make deposits. I have a card named Feet. And I push in. Tap, tap, tap. What is the number? 777. Perfection. You ought to change nothing. Perfection. What is your name? Loren. 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 You go to church. Where? Oh, you're on vacation. Who invited you? Who, who, who invited you? You're a Philip. Oh, okay. And you're blessed. You're blessed. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay. Huh? Yes, the parents. You're not there by accident. The parents. I want to give you something. Because what we don't understand that Jesus didn't come to take, come to give. Amen. You think Jesus come for your tithe and your offering? That's a lie. He come to give you. And the church don't teach that. Tell them that you must give, you must give, you must give, you must give. People give, 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 give. Tell them nothing else to give. Paul asked the disciple, what? Since you believe. Then receive what? I want to give you something. You know what I want to give you? The peace of God. You might say, Pastor, I have the peace. I want to give you more. There are different levels of peace. Great peace. Perfect peace. All peace. You need no more peace. <laughs> Lift your hands. Stretch your hands towards her. Papa, au nom de Jésus-Christ de Nazareth. Parce que elle est ici, Papa. Je te demande, Seigneur, de repas avec quelque chose de plus. Oui, elle est venue avec quelque chose. Mais elle va repartir avec quelque chose de plus. De plus. Papa, cette paix, la paix, ta, ta paix que tu nous as donnée, tu as dit que si quelqu'un te reçoit, Comme ton serviteur, tu relâches la paix. Et ce matin, je relâche la paix de Dieu sur la vie de, de ta fille, Seigneur. Qu'elle repartira de cette maison avec plus, avec plus, avec plus, avec plus, avec plus, quelque chose de plus. Papa, au nom de Jésus-Christ de Nazareth, je relâche une bénédiction. Donc, je relâche ta paix et je relâche ta vie au nom puissant de Jésus-Christ. Maintenant, je veux te demander, je peux poser ma main sur toi? Je n'ai pas de problème si je pose ma main sur toi? Ok. Papa, au nom de ça, c'est bien. Tu sais pourquoi je te demandais? Parce que j'ai appris à mes fidèles, quand tu vois un endroit, ne laisse pas les gens nous poser ta sur toi. You don't show me just telling about your knowledge of Jesus. Bless you. My scripture will continue to say to you, Seigneur, with such joy. Continue. Hallelujah. To show it. Okay. Hallelujah. If you get a certain position, you will have a million of you. Okay? Come on, over, over. Thank you. Thank you. That's all, sir.
Next week, I want you to invite someone with you. It doesn't matter what the case is. The God that we serve, the God of the impossible. Do you believe it? Do you believe it? Can I repeat it? I said the God that we serve is a God of the impossible. It doesn't matter what the case is. If you believe that your case is, is bigger than the God that we serve, don't invite them. But you believe that the God that you serve, that we serve, is bigger than any case, invite them. Are you with me? Are you with me? As we take the Lord, as we take the communion, the Lord's Supper. Remember, Jesus didn't come to call righteous, but sinners to repentance. Who did he come to call? I was one. I said I was one. I think I was one. And he came and he called me. Hallelujah. And you know what washed me away? Washed every sin in the blood. And it's the same blood can wash your sins. If you believe it, you can take part of the Lord's communion. He was nailed to the cross.